Warranty Payable Assume that a car manufacturer is selling its brand new cars without a warranty. Do you think that customers are going to buy? Of course not. A car manufacturer usually will provide a warranty for several years for the cars produced and sold. Providing the warranty helps the manufacturer to sell cars and hence is a reason in generating revenue for this period. Remember the matching principle? Revenues of a period should be matched with expenses of the same period which are related to it. Warranty expense is related to the revenue of year 1. Hence, it should be deducted as an expense from the revenues in that year. However, we don't know exactly the amount of the expense that is going to be paid in the future for this car maintenance. Accordingly, we have to estimate it. At the end of the period in year 1, an entry to record the warranty expense to include it as an expense in the period is done. Let's assume that it is estimated to be $5,000. The journal entry is to debit warranty expense by $5,000 and credit warranty payable by the same amount. Let's assume that in year 2 a customer brought a car to be fixed. Let's also assume that the problem is covered by the warranty. Let's assume that fixing the car costs $1,000. $700 in parts and $300 paid for an expert to fix it. The entry would be to debit warranty payable for $1,000 and inventory of parts is credited by the release part of $700 and cash paid to the expert is credited by $300. Now the warranty payable decreased to $4,000. Notice that no expense account is involved in this transaction. 